Usman Sow is not your average commercial artist. A sculptor since childhood, it wasn't until he was in his 50s that his giant statues of African tribesmen brought him international recognition. Recognition which he had never sought. What happened to me was a surprise. I never, never dreamt of being an artist. Perhaps I was lucky in that way because I did it for pleasure. Before making a living as an artist, Usman dedicated 30 years of his life to his other passion, physiotherapy. Self-taught, he now considers the job excellent training for a sculptor. It often happened when I couldn't see what I wanted that I'd close my eyes because physiotherapy is a kind of non-seeing, a blindness, and I'd touch, and I'd start to feel the protrusions where I was touching. I could see the bumps that I'd made, which I couldn't physically see. Working without models, he draws on his imagination to create striking scenes from the life of the Nuba and Fula peoples of West Africa. Beatrice Soule has known him for 15 years and dedicated two films to him. There's an intensity in his characters. You can't really tell what emotions they're expressing. It's as much serenity as compassion, sadness, despair. There's an infinite number of emotions which come through in Usman's work. His latest creations have taken him in a new direction with a personal roster of great men, including Charles de Gaulle, Victor Hugo and Nelson Mandela. It's terrible in Africa. Every day has new reasons to despair. So to have people like this in mind can help you get by a little. With the proceeds of his Paris auction, Usman now hopes to make that dream a reality by creating a museum for his great men back in his home country of Senegal.